FreeCAD 1.0 is out now and there is much rejoicing. Many people speak of the topological naming problem, TNP, being solved. But it's not. That's not a knock on FreeCAD. No CAD program has solved the TNP. Arguably, short of the CAD program understanding your design intent better than you do, it cannot be solved. If your CAD program does understand your intent better than you do, why are you still sitting there? Click the magic button and send it. Cooler heads will tell you that FreeCAD has mitigated the TNP. It absolutely has. Personally, I believe it's done a better job of that than many of the other CAD programs out there. This is easier to show you than it is to tell you. I've shown you a case where the mitigation is completely successful. Now I'll show you one of those situations where it cannot be. I'll start as usual in the part workbench. Create a sketch on the XY plane. Draw a rectangle roughly around the origin. I'm not going to constrain anything because this is just for demonstration. Close the sketch. Extrude it to 60 millimeters. Select the face of the cube normal to the x-axis and create a new sketch. I do not want to use the flat face mode for the attachment. Rather, I want to use the inertia mode. This will center the sketch on the face rather than simply making it coplanar with the origin below the cube. Create a circle centered on the origin. Close the sketch. Extrude the circle to 100 millimeters. Now we have the world's worst hammer. But let's say for reasons unfathomable to me, we want to make a modification to this model. Reopen the sketch that formed the cube. Select the split edge tool and split the rightmost line of the square. Remove the vertical constraint on the two sublines that formed and just pull that split point out a little bit just because. Close the sketch. At first glance, nothing appears wrong. But you might notice that sketch 001 is now in error. If I try to make a change to the extrusion of that sketch, the change cannot take effect. The extrude becomes stuck with the recalculate flag set. The problem is that the TNP mitigation has no idea where to attach the sketch now that we've broken the face it was on. Maybe we want to attach it up here at the top, maybe down at the bottom. Maybe we wanted to attach it to a different face entirely. It could even be that we want to leave it just exactly where it is and create something else for it to be attached to. But how would FreeCAD know that? We may not even know ourselves. As a side note, certain other commercial CAD packages paper over this by just leaving the sketch where it is and not flagging any sort of error condition. It looks right, so people assume that free CAD is somehow worse. But in doing that, they silently break the parametric quality of the model, leaving it in a brittle state ready to fall into pieces later. I would consider that the worst possible non-solution. I'm not going to name the guilty because this is about free CAD. This is not about my CAD can beat up your CAD. I'll put it in wireframe mode for a moment so we can see exactly what we're dealing with. For now, free CAD has left the sketch where it was so we can see what we're up against. One good approach is to create construction geometry to replace the that plane that we broke. I'm going to do that one. Select the two edges and create a ruled surface between them. It's a little hard to see in the wireframe mode, but the ruled surface is there now. Now select sketch 001, bring up the attachment dialog. I don't need to change the mapping mode, just the attachment itself. Is currently attached to a non-existent face of the extrusion. So select Ruled Surface, unselect the extrusion, and close the dialog. Hit Ctrl R to recompute, and there we have it. The recompute worked this time, and the error flag has been removed from Sketch 001. Problem solved. 
we now have a slightly more stylish version of the world's worst hammer. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video or found it useful, please like, subscribe, and share. If there's anything you'd like to see covered here, please let me know in the comments below.